What's going on people? It's your boy Theo. I am back with a real talk. So happy new year and what a way to kick off the new year. I just finished off watching the Arsenal Man United game and the first half was so much better than the first half that I saw um, us playing Chelsea at the weekend and we were so much more compact. We fought for the ball we were more organised and it was so joyous to see. We just brought everything to the table. And that's what we want to see. You know, um, I have to say, Ozil looks like a completely different player now because, you know, Arteta's gotten him making some uh, making some adjustments here and there. His positioning is getting better. Uh, he's, getting, he's getting better off the ball. Um, he's been making some good touches, you know, and he's actually fighting for the ball. I mean, there was this instance where we saw him um, going for the ball that was going to go for the, the, the touchline and he got it and he could have actually played it to Laka, but he didn't. Um, sorry, but Laka didn't um, work to it because he didn't thought he was actually going to get there. But obviously he made up for and said sorry. So yeah, I'm I'm actually happy the way that we uh we played to be honest. Um I thought Torero was so solid in midfield. He was so vitally important because he's the one that ticks everything. It, sorry, he's the one that makes everything tick. So um I like the way he just put put himself about. Kalasinach, we thought we was never gonna see him um until um a few months. Um I know that he was injured and everything, but to come back to shake up uh, an ankle problem. I was stunned because of the way he was playing. And he was driving down that left side. Can't fault the guy. Obviously, he got injured come, um, coming to the end. Hopefully, it's not too serious. But um, um, Saka came in. I thought done well. Um, yeah, he it, 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 it done well. Um, Lacazette at the end as well. Um you know, he put himself into good positions, but you know something, Laka's got to get more confident in trying to finish those because I know he can. I know he can um, um, put the ball in the back of the net. He's got to have that bit more quality. And but what I expected from the second half is that I thought that there'll be a bit more ruthlessness. Um, I thought that there would be um, a step up from the first half. We didn't get that because we knew that um, Man United were going to come back. And they were going to press against us. And so we had to try and show things up defensively. And we did that. So I'm so proud of the boys. All in all, it's a good win. You know, it's a good win um, of our biggest rivals. I know it's not the um, rivalry of old. But, you know, something, um, a win against the biggest rivals, um, one of the top six, you know, you can't fault it. So... Like I said from the beginning, I always believe that I've got a really, really good feeling about this year. And by by God, we, um, we've we actually kicked 2020 off with a win. It's Mikel Arteta's first win. I've got to say hats off to him because we're seeing the difference. We're seeing how we're playing. We're seeing how we're... We're, we're together and and how he's looking to bring everybody together, the players, the fans, um, the club, everything is all to, connected. And um, somebody actually put out a tweet today to say, look, the new management bounce will start today. And I have this feeling that it will um, continue. I think Arteta's got something going here. I mean, he's learnt from the best. He's learnt from Arsene Wenger and he's learnt from Pep Guardiola. And, you know, in all the time that he's learnt and he's having these ideas and he's implementing things, it's starting to work. He's even getting Pepe off working right. He's even got his goal. I'm so happy for Pepe. I've got to say, I've got to say a shout out to Pepe as well. He's done brilliant. He's, he's, um, he's, he's, uh, his work rate was brilliant up until... Um, he ran out of steam a little bit more because he expected him to get into the game a little. Um, Arteta wanted Pepe to get into the game a little bit more, but I think that it's it's obviously about game management, man management at this point. Um, but I think there's going to be so much more demand. So now everybody's going to go into training now, going into the game against Leeds, which is on Monday. What's going to happen now is that these guys are going to be more up for it. They're going to be more up for that fight because we tasted that victory. We played well. We've 
actually dominated things. We worked well defensively, which still does need addressing, I, I have to admit, because it depends on the transfer window, what's going to happen, who's going to come out, and we're going to see wh what happens over the course of the month. It's the first day in the transfer window. It's opened now, so we're going to wait and see exactly what's going to happen with, with players. Um, but if they can watch this video back and... Um, if they can watch this video back and they see me talking, let me tell you something. I'm proud to be a gooner. I know that it's not, um, I know that this, what you do is, you know, making money and all that sort of thing, but you got to put care into, um, playing for this football club. And I think you guys have done that today. You've shown that there's a sense of care. And you guys got to keep it up. We got to be a bit more ruthless, though. We got to be a bit more um, pragmatic in the way that we're doing things. But I was happy with the lineup. I was happy with the way that we played. Um, I'm super proud of the way we came across defensively. Socrates um, done well. David Luiz done well. You know, it's really, really good thing to see. So, yeah, the new management bounce. Starts now, you know, Mikel Arteta has done well, well getting us organised, getting us together. And, yeah, it's important now that obviously these training, um, these trainings, we want more training going down at the Emirates. We've got to start making the Emirates more of a fortress, you know, and we have that atmosphere. It needs to be unlocked. So, yeah, it's just good. It's really, really good. I'm going to leave it there. So if you like this video, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I've got so much stuff coming my way. <laughs> coming my way? Coming your way. I'm, I'm excited the fact that we won, that I'm not even talking <laughs> great. So, yeah, um, I'm just so happy that we've won. Uh, let me know in the comment section, um, if you're an Arsenal fan, what do you think of the game? Um, if, you're an Ars if you're not an Arsenal fan, let me know what you think about today's game. And um, I'll be back with a new video very, very soon. In the meantime, um, I hope you guys have a great, great 2020. Um, this is me signing off. I'm out. Peace.